Hello everyone, I'm Nice Dude, and welcome back for another look at Dino Dossiers and what a busy week it's been for ARK. As promised, I was going to do a um, walkthrough or playthrough of the game. As you know, the game runs terrible and on my machine I was only getting 15 frames a second so I don't think that would be very uh, entertaining to watch so I've given up on that idea until they optimise it, which I'm sure they will because they're bringing out loads of updates and I've got uh, high hopes for the team to carry on their good work. But anyway, we've been, we've been playing it now for a week and we've had good fun with it, me and my mate Kelv. We've managed to make a uh, straw hut and the top tip for you is to make a uh, bed so that when you die you respawn in it. We've got a little box in there so all our bits and bobs are in there. But yeah, we've been having uh, good fun. We uh, had, some, had a go at taming a uh, dinosaur. We'll, uh, I'll tell you about that later. First up we have the Triceratops which means three horned face. They were 29 foot long and weighed up to 12 tons. So they're herbivores and they are very short tempered. I can testify to that. It says there about um, stealing eggs and would be predators. I found a uh, egg, picked it up by mistake. Well, not knowing what it was, I picked it up anyway. And before we know what, it's been chased by three of the buggers very aggressively. So, uh, yeah, not much fun doing that. But this is uh, not a true uh, Triceratops, it's a mixture of two. It's, the other one is um, a Strikosaurus, which means spiked lizard. So they're very similar, apart from the other one, had all spikes around the edges and only one horn. So they've obviously blended them both together to make it look a lot more aggressive and uh, more fun in the game. So, uh, all in all, yeah, what can it do? It can, uh, yeah, so it can, it can be tamed and you can saddle it and use it as a combat warhorse. So that's pretty good going around charging people because they're pretty tough creatures actually. So I make a very good mount. I haven't tried it yet. Next up, we have the Parasaur, which means near crested lizard. They're 30 foot long and weigh two and a half tons. Now there's tons of these in the game. And then what does it say about now? Herbivore and very skittish. They just, when you punch them, they run away and they're very, very fast and hard to catch. But they make very good rides that can be domesticated to put a saddle on them. Which you get in the game, don't you? You get in the game, so you can put the saddle on them. But you've got to make the saddle. Then apply the um, skin to the saddle, which we discovered. And they are a bit of a bugger to... Um, tame because you've got to use tinto berries or you can use the yellow berries but we discovered you've got to put um, narco berries in as well to help keep it unconscious you can also um, use a pestle and mortar to uh, make a stronger narcotic which helps for knocking out the animals whilst trying to tame them I've yet to do it myself but that's what, that's what we're working on next so we'll let you know how we got on with that but there's an interesting feature of these creatures is the um, big horn thing on top of its head now this could be a sound application of thing because they sound like a trombone when I make the noise so it could be that or it could also be thermoregulation to maintain its body core temperature but in this game it is used as a snorkel so these can swim about in the, um, in the ocean so if you've got one of these take it for a uh, ride in the ocean and see you get on with it because def there's definitely a picture of it in the water and as further on there's pictures of these Swimming next door, next door to Plesiosaur, which I'll show you in a while. So definitely these are amphibious creatures you can take out out to sea with a little paddle. I'm not sure how you do against a Megalodon. <laughs> we'll wait and see. But yep, yeah, the Parasaur. Well, this dinosaur needs no introduction whatsoever. We all know who this is. The mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. The King Tyrant Lizard. 43 foot long, 13 foot tall, and weighed up to 9 tons. Most vicious dinosaur ever. But this is not a T Rex, it is in fact a Tyrannosaurus Dominium, which is Lord. So this is obviously one I've made up for the game, which is uh, bigger, more powerful than the normal T Rex. But it can be tamed. So, well, that sounds like fun. It's obviously got to be the uh, end goal, isn't it? To try and get one of these to uh, stomp around and kill all your enemies with. Definitely. A lovely uh, 
picture there looks totally ferocious not much more to say about these just avoid at all costs next up we have this uh, piece of artwork which the ARC team released to us this is the uh, spider brood mother now this is a uh, giant spider which there was talk about in the uh, one of the previous dossiers that it was a giant boss spider so this is obviously it it's not, not technically a dino dossier I'm not sure what these are I think this is the, well, the creature is obviously one of the uh, big raid bosses which you can summon as far as we can tell from them great big towers you see floating in the sky all the different colours uh, this could be green one green boss the looks of it judging by the colour of the crystals that's a good guess maybe yeah so obviously you need a massive party and be high level to take out one of these things they, uh, just like a World of Warcraft or any other M MMO game sort of big raid boss drop good loot you need a good team no idea how many people you need we just have to wait and see I guess that won't be long for somebody uh, I'm not sure he's even in the game yet we have to wait and see to find out but yep the uh, giant spider brood mother next up we have the Spinosaurus this is uh, probably everyone's secondly most anticipated dinosaur in the game everyone's asking for it waiting for it and here it is the Spinosaurus uh, made f this was made famous in Jurassic Park 3 where I had a big fight with the uh, T-Rex there's been an ongoing debate who would win which I'm not going to go into but I think Ark might have decided it for us because they've uh, made the T-Rex a lot bigger and it's even a picture there one fighting one so well, there you go but this is oh, you may notice it's slightly different from the Jurassic Park one this is uh, taken from the more current theory of what it might have looked like it's a lot more uh, lower base four-legged creature in fact it was more related to a crocodile than anything else because it spent most of its time in water eating fish and would occasionally go inland if, and hunt for some other animals but yet yeah, these can be uh, tamed which would be absolutely fantastic and rideable so uh, they even make fantastic creatures even says on here they're uh, able to travel on land and water so this would be a really good choice as a mount if you could get one of these. I'm not even sure they're in the game, I've yet to see one. So, um, so uh, let's have a little read about these. But they, um, they've got the big tap, they've got the big fin as well, which could be for firmer regulation or uh, display. Who knows what it's for? I'll have to wait and see. But there's no complete um, skeletons of these anywhere in the world, so it's all very speculation what these things actually look like but this is probably the most accurate which is nice to see but yeah very nice I mean what's the weight of these things uh, they weighed 23 tons which is massive big difference with T-Rex only weighed 9 tons and they were 49 foot long so they're a lot bigger than a T-Rex but I think the T-Rex is a lot more aggressive and they go, yeah, the biting power is a lot more but I wouldn't want to meet one of these in the game, definitely. So finally, we have the Plesiosaur. I think everybody recognises this creature, being the uh, mythical Loch Ness monster. Or in the real world, if you've ever been to uh, the Natural History Museum in London, they've got, they've got loads of these uh, fossils lining the walls as they were found around the shores of England. They were. Um, only 11 foot long but according to this the uh, game they are huge they've obviously taken liberties just like they did with the T-Rex they've made the uh, creature super sized for gameplay purposes and it says here if you read it they're yeah, so large you can have a mobile floating base and if you see there's a picture there of it being flanked by um, parasaurs so it looks like a uh, good fun thing to do in the game take one of these beasties and build a base in its back it's probably a lot easier said than done with megalodons floating around but we'll have to wait and see I'm sure someone will manage it but yeah the uh, pleasure saw means almost lizards as they are reptiles not fish but they've got a very uh, long neck and a tiny head four flippers and a turtle shaped body but it looks like they've got absolutely claws we've got a picture here of the claws which means they're not very offensive but carry a lot of weight and are tameable. Docile, it says there. 
But yeah, looking forward to uh, only one of these. Looks like good fun. Well, that's the last of this batch of Dino dossiers. I've uh, really been enjoying the game so far. Just uh, hope they crack on and get the optimization uh, better so I can play the game. A little more than 15 frames. Well, thank you for watching. My name's been Nasty Dude. And remember to check back for the next batch of Dino dossiers.